Good morning everyone, how you doing? It's Paul here from Unusual Things. Now this morning I am at Kensal Green Crematorium. Okay, we've come to find the final resting place of Pete Burns today, lead singer of Dead or Alive. Um, sung, you know, you spin me like that, baby. I'm not getting into that. Over there, there are some poles, okay, like what they call cenotaph poles. Um, and there used to be the name plaque because Freddie Mercury was cremated here and there used to be the name plaque on there. However, I think it kept getting stolen. So they've now got it inside somewhere. But um, it's Saturday, it's locked up. So there's no chance of getting in there. I don't think the staff will let me see it anyway. But, 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 I do have a good friend who thinks he knows the staff in there. Well, he does know the staff in there. He thinks I might be able to get in and film it at some point in the future. So we'll keep our fingers crossed for that. And if that's the case, then I'll do a big thing on Freddie. Um, but for now, we're here to find the final resting place of Pete Burns. Um, couldn't miss Pete Burns anywhere, really, could you? Uh, uh, you know, his music was amazing, I thought. You know, great in the 80s. Um, then he went on to do, of course, Celebrity Big Brother. Uh, where he caused a lot of controversy on there, but that's good. That's what he was all about. Um, he just kept it real, I think. He just was true to himself, true to who he was. And, uh, you know, some people didn't like it. Some people did. And I think he'd done some presenting work as well over the years. But I'll tell you a little bit more about him real soon. And we're going to look for where his uh, memorial plaque is in the crematorium gardens here at uh, this beautiful location. Peter Giuseppe Burns was born on the 5th of August 1959 in Port Sunlight, Cheshire. He had an older brother named Tony, born in 1948. Although the two scarcely saw each other, they got on well and liked to listen to the records together. Like Burns, Tony was an aspiring pop star. His mother, Evelina, Maria Bettina Quitner von Hudeck, 1913 to 1987, was German-born Heidelberg and according to Burns' autobiography, Freak Unique, 2006, her first marriage was to a German friar. As her father was Jewish, she moved to Vienna to escape the Nazis. At a tea dance in Vienna, she met an English soldier from Liverpool named Francis Burns. Evelina was 46 years old when she gave birth to Pete Burns. He later wrote of his childhood in his autobiography, in which he described his mother's alcoholism and suicide attempts, but maintained that she was absolutely the best mother in the world. While building his career, Burns worked at a Liverpool record shop, Probe Records, which became a meeting place for local musicians. Burns was notorious for his maltreatment of customers, sometimes throwing their purchases at them because he disapproved of their selection. He first performed as a member of the short-lived punk band Mystery Girls, which included Pete Wiley and Julian Cope, and gave one performance supporting Sham 69 at Eric's Club in November 1977. Cope stated that Burns' performing style drew on that of the transgender punk performer Wayne County. Pete Burns was next in Nightmares in Wax, a group that formed in Liverpool in 1979. They released a 12-inch single, Black Leather, and a 7-inch single, Birth of a Nation, each containing the same three songs but never released a studio album. In 1980, after replacing several members, Burns changed the band's name to Dead or Alive. After a minor hit in 1984 with a cover version of That's the Way I Like It, the band had a number one hit in the UK in 1985 with You Spin Me Round. The song went on to become a worldwide hit. Burns did not have an ambition to be a singer. He said that he hated the sound of his own voice and wished he had been able to sing falsetto like Sylvester. He had an uncomfortable relationship with the corporate music industry and expressed disgust at the way it functioned. He always refused to allow record company staff to hear his music before it was completed, which didn't make the executives very pleased. In December 2003, the BBC apologised to its viewers after Burns swore once on its pre-9pm Watershed Liquid News show when asked about his views on the Michael Jackson trial. 
In January 2006, Burns appeared on Channel 4 Celebrity Big Brother, eventually reaching fifth on the show's final episode. It was on this show that he declared that one of his coats was made out of gorilla fur. This caused outrage amongst animal rights activists and unlicensed gorilla fur is illegal in the United Kingdom. Police subsequently confiscated the coat and tests were performed on it, which revealed that it was not gorilla, but was made out of the fur of colobus monkeys. Colobus monkeys are also an endangered species whose fur requires a license. Although experts believe that the fur had been imported in the 1930s or 40s, but it became illegal to import colobus fur in 1975. Burns married Lynn Courtlet in Liverpool on the 8th of August 1980. He met Courtlet in the Liverpool hair salon where they both worked until they divorced in 2006. He entered a civil partnership with his partner Michael Simpson shortly afterwards in 2007 and stated in a Howard Stern interview that his husband has a daughter. On the topic of his sexuality, Pete Burns stated that people always want to know am I gay, bi, trans or what? I say forget all that, there's got to be completely different terminology and I'm not aware if it's been invented yet. I'm just Pete. He also stated that he always identified himself as a man and never had any intentions of being a woman. It freaks me that someone could think I was a woman. Don't get me wrong, I love women, I love men too, and I'm very proud to be a man. In May 2016, Burns sparked concerns when he was seen in public appearing bloated and dishevelled. Pete Burns died in London following a sudden cardiac arrest on the 23rd of October 2016 at the age of 57. People who paid tribute to him after his death included Boy George, who described Burns as one of our great true eccentrics, Mark Almond, who described Burns as a one-off creation, a fabulous, fantastic, brilliant creature, and former MP George Galloway, who had appeared with him on Celebrity Big Brother, said Burns was a cross between Oscar Wilde and Dorothy Parker. You don't get more brilliant than that. On the 29th of October, the opening celebrity dance routine for BBC Strictly Come Dancing was performed to Dead or Alive, You Spin Me Around. After the number, host Claudia Winkleman and Tess Daly paid tribute to Burns and sent their condolences to his family. Boy George paid for the costs of Burns' funeral despite the two artists' rivalry during their parallel music careers. So there's all the information there on Pete Burns. And like I say, what a controversial, controversial, controversial uh, man he was. But um, great, you know, um, great personality. Anyway, we'll have a little look now and we'll go and find his final resting place. Okay, so I've been having a good look around and I think I found it. There we go. Pete Burns, 5859, 23rd of the 10th, 2016. Our special star, always loved. It looks a little bit overgrown from some of the photos I've seen of it before. It looked beautifully looked after. Um, and you know, it's still, still very busy. <laughs> so there we have the final resting place of Pete Burns. Um, bless you, Pete. Thank you for bringing us some great music during the 80s of course and for your extravagant personality and you know some of the um controversy controversy sorry that you caused during the big brother house was brilliant it was made good viewing that's what he was there for you know he's um it's one of those characters isn't he that you want in something like that to bring out the best in people and i think he did that so thank you pete bless you oops as i fall down my own hole um yeah, there we go, Pete Burns. I've been wanting to come and film this for a while. Unbeknown to me, right, over the back there is a, um, another cemetery. I think it's called St. Mary's. And is it raining? Um, and <laughs> it is. Uh, and that's where Danny LaRue is. And I had one of those days when I went to film Danny LaRue that I obviously didn't 
research anyone in here. And there's a few in here that I missed. So I've had to drive all the way back up from Portsmouth to come here. Now it's starting to rain. What's all that about? Um, to cover a few in here. Doesn't matter. It's what I do. It's what I like to do. Anyway, thank you as always, everyone. Please leave your messages, comments down below. Uh, Pete Burns, are you a big fan? Did you like him? Did you not like him? Um, let me know. And if you like the video today, please give it a thumbs up. And that's about it for today. And I will see you all on the next one. Take it easy. Don't forget, you spin me right round, baby.